Welcome to the Retire Right Podcast with Larry Heller. You deserve complete financial advice. There's no acceptable alternative if you want a plan to live well and on your terms. Complete financial advice equals complete peace of mind. Now, let's get into this week's podcast episode. Hello and welcome to Retire Right with Larry Heller from Heller Wealth Management. I am extremely excited today. Larry is anxiously standing by in studio, in his studio, because of course we're in social distancing by many states, in fact. But this podcast is a celebration podcast, and I'm really excited about this. Larry, how are you? I am doing great, Eric. Real excited about this milestone. Yeah, and, and this milestone is your 75th podcast. That is huge. I actually heard some stats a little while ago, probably about a month ago, that most podcasts make it to number 10, and that's about it. You've blown that out of the water. You have a, a great audience, and I know you're going to be kind of discussing some of the highlights today. Yeah, I thought we would kind of take a little trip down memory lane and kind of kind of rehash what we've done, what I've seen, how we've, how we've grown, how I've grown, how you've grown, and what's ahead in the future. Putting this all together, I, I, it was hard for me to remember all these 75 <laughs> podcasts. I went to yeah. the website, oh yeah, I forgot about that one mm -hmm. and about that guest. We do occasionally re repurpose them and reshare them out, and they're all on the website. So anybody who's listening there and any of the ones we mentioned, feel free to go to the website and, and listen to them, or even we also have the blogs that they can, they can read. So yeah, I am excited to that I've gotten to this, to this time, 75, mm -hmm. hard to imagine where the time has, has gone. Obviously the pandemic has, has been a great outlet for me and my listening audience in the pandemic. We started, oh, I think about three years ago yeah. and it's been, uh, it, it's been a real growing experience and I love doing them. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny because if you go back and listen to the first year of podcasts, none of them mentioned a possible pandemic, right? I mean, because nobody knew. Nobody knew that that was coming. But the beauty of it is, is that what you teach and what you've taught over these last 75 podcasts is exactly what people need to hear, which is plan for things that you don't know that you're planning for. When you have a secure plan, then it's it, it really stuff doesn't shake you to your core like it could. And it's been fun to watch and, and go along this path with you to see what your audience has been gleaning from it and, and learning. It's called the Retire Right Podcast. We've kind of stuck to a lot of those topics, but we've, we've touched on a lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about those. You know, I, do re I do recall the first couple of podcasts and being nervous and unsure and <laughs> what, what what should we talk about what are the words now it's just like ah it's so much fun and let's talk about this let's go outside the box here mm -hmm. uh, i do recall for those of you who do go back and listen matt was actually the first what do you say narrator you call yourself eric the the the, the official term is voice talent and i hate that so just yeah just call me eric <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's Eric. But I don't know when you came in, Eric. We started with Matt yeah. from Top Advisor Marketing. Do you remember which, which episode you came oh, in Oh, geez. Or? I think I was, I was probably in the 30s, I think. In the 30s. Somewhere in the 30s. So I do recall going through the first couple of them with Matt and getting some constructive criticism and listening back to them. I probably said the words, you know, about 40 times in the first <laughs> podcast. And I yeah. guess that was part of being nervous. I'm uh -huh. sure I still say that, but definitely very little, very little now. You've been on for the ride for over half of them, half of them, uh, Eric. So, yeah. uh, so thank you for that. I appreciate both you and Matt you know, helping me grow and making the podcast smooth and professional along with, uh, you know, all the top advisor marketing team from the writing of the blogs to the social media content made this a really easy process for me that all I got to do is think about the guests, the topics, and you guys handle everything else. So that's been, uh, that's been terrific. So thank you. Well, I, it's funny that you mentioned that you were nervous because I remember when Matt and I were first discussing it and 
you would become my client and then I would be able to work with you. And he kind of gave me a little heads up about who you were and what you did. And so I did a little bit of research on my own. I'm like, man, this guy's professional. <laughs> so I was a little nervous. I was like, Ooh, I hope he, I hope he's okay with me. I'm a, I'm a little off the cuff sometimes. And I throw you some curveballs here and there, but, uh, you've handled it beautifully and you haven't kicked me off yet. So I'm pretty, I, I appreciate that, Larry. Well, I think by now you actually can read my mind a little bit. So we go from one question, you kind of know, oh, where are we going with this? And yeah. you kind of get the, know how to drive me to the next area. I threw you a little curveball actually right now because I jumped to the second topic right now here. Uh -huh. But you do get to read my mind and know where it's going and make the transition and the, and the podcast a lot smoother. Yeah. Well, no, it, it's, again, I, I think the word that you used was fun and I, I think it has been a lot of fun and I've, I've seen you grow as a professional in podcasting by leaps and bounds when you started initiating guests, right? Because when you started bringing on guests, it really opened you up to let your personality out a little bit more and interact with those guests and have a lot of fun. And one of my favorites was when you brought the guy on from who did trains, right? He it was model trains. Yeah. Michael Kometh, one of our, Oh one of gosh. our cl clients yeah. did, uh, yes, did the one on model on model trains and his passions and well into retirement and how he does that. Yeah, that was a fun podcast. Yeah, and and it, and it gave you uh, the audience a glimpse of your personality, being able to open up with him and just kind of joke and have some fun, and and you really showed a lot of interest in what he was doing, even though. I've never heard you talk about model trains as far as your own hobby, but it let you dive into what he enjoyed. And so I, I enjoyed listening to that and being a part of that one. I know that you've got thousands upon tens of thousands of views and listens on, on different platforms. It, and I know that you've also had to transition from like you had a full studio set up at your office and now you've kind of had to make shift that at home too. Right. It's interesting how we've kind of involved. I mean, you know, from the individual podcasts, I'm not even sure how long it took before I had my first my first guest on the podcast. Probably the first guest, ooh, let's see, was episode, I believe, episode 15. So the first 14 mm. podcasts were just individual ones. And the 15th one was an accountant, Michael Kessler, where we talked about tax planning, and he was the first one. And um, that was a little bit, a little bit tricky because Michael actually had a radio show that I was his guest on. So he was a good interviewer. So it was kind of turning the tides <laughs> with him. And that went pretty, pretty smoothly. Yeah. So moving from doing the individual podcast, which I still like doing and making sure that we talk about relatively more technical and educational podcasts, timely podcasts. So we still want to continue to do them. But Having the interaction with the guests and being able to really ask the questions and find out what their passions are and what their expertise are, being able to provide that to our listening audience, I really, I really enjoyed doing that and also have a little bit more appreciation when you watch somebody doing an interview on, on TV, because that's basically what you're doing and you have mm -hmm. to be prepared. That was the one thing that going into this is if, if you're prepared, then you can take the, the podcast in a lot of different ways yeah. and do follow up questions and make it a lot smoother. I love, I love doing, doing those and we're going to continue to do those going, going forward. You mentioned something about, you know, the home setup. So, you know, today I'm doing podcast 65, 75, 75. from my home, looking out of the windows into the pouring rain, which a lot hmm. different from podcast one, which is in my office where we had kind of a studio set up, but having the same equipment here and the microphones at home, and I'm actually standing at my standing desk doing the doing the podcast is it is really smoothless and easy i can take this podcast anywhere that i want to be we may even do that i may even do it from my from a different location somewhere in 2021 so that's going to be a little bit interesting we'll talk a little bit more about that eric and some of my thoughts going forward and yes we've had tens of thousands of, of views. Um, it's hard to really track a lot of them, Eric, correct? Mm -hmm. I think on, on Podbean, which is one of our platforms alone, we have over 21,000 views, yeah. but a lot of the different platforms don't track the, uh, the view. So I, I'm sure we have, you know, tens of thousands of more. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And that, that's one thing that's tough is, is tracking all the data for podcasts. But we know that there are a ton of listeners, a lot of subscri- subscribers, and, and it really has to do with the content that you're, you're creating. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you this uh, as, a, as the interviewer, right? I mean, that, that you were just talking about that. What is your favorite thing to talk about with your guests? When you bring a guest on, I know that there's some technical stuff that you're going to be covering. Um, we know that there's some educational things. But if you had a couple questions that you could ask them that just would put them on the spot, what would you be asking them? Well, I, I kind of ask them, and it's actually interesting because I, I actually, similar questions to my, uh, when I talk to a potential client is, you know, the whys, mm, is mm-hmm. what brought you to doing this? And the real interesting guests, you could really hear in their voice that they love what they're doing and their yeah. passion about what they're doing, what, whatever that is, whether they're an accountant, an attorney, a sports reporter, a golf pro. Mm-hmm. So the ones that are really passionate about and believe in what they're doing turn out to be the most interesting conversations, the most interesting guests. Yes. And, and also, you know, keep the audience in, in, both entertained and, and educated. That's really the, the questions that I like to find is really finding that, that, that point where why, why did they go into this? Why do they like doing what they're doing? And, you know, how did they become an expert in that particular area? <laughs> Larry, I got to tell you, I, I appreciate the fact that you take time and you, you really do choose your guests based on knowing that they're going to be a good interview, right? You're not just going to accept anybody as a guest. You, you take a little bit of time, you research the people, you know, most of them personally, I'm sure. But I've got to tell you, I, I had a, a situation where I was with somebody who was doing a podcast and I was listening to it. They had a guest on and they asked, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you doing what you're doing? And I won't say the industry, I won't say anything else about it, but they asked that question and their guest said, you know what? I really don't know why I'm still doing this. (laughs) That was it. And it was just dead silence. And he's like, yeah, I really have no idea why I'm still doing this. (laughs) How do you complete an interview when the person that you're interviewing has no motivation no passion. And you're just like, Oh, it, it just felt like a knife. Uh, and uh, I know that you do a good job of making sure those aren't the people that are on your podcast. Well, yeah, you, you try to, but you, you really don't know a hundred percent. I mean, some True. of the people yeah. that have come to the, 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 be a guest on the podcast have contacted me mm-hmm. and yes, you do some research on the, on the websites some that I've contacted them, um, you know, Susan Williams, who runs a uh, website out of Canada, a retirement website, uh, I believe Booming Encore is her website. She had contacted me and we had a great conversation and a great podcast. Again, you can hear the passion. Mm-hmm. In so I guess maybe, but even before that they, I decide to come on as a podcast, I do talk to them. And you're probably right. There are a few people that I've talked to about potential podcasts that they haven't come on yet as guests. Mm -hmm. Maybe I've just pushed, put a push them off into the background because I didn't feel that passion from them so far. And I've had other guests that have come on ahead of them. So you may be right, but yes, talking to them and finding what their specialty is and what they what they do and and the more that they are kind of a little bit of a specialist in a certain area the the better that better that they've done they've done i mean we've done now numerous guests from robert Mm -hmm. brown and sal albanese and and scott chuzzlewitz but we've also done karen tannenbaum and residency and taxes and so those have been even though technical issues and tax planning issues, all all four of them have got kind of an expertise and a specialty in what they do in the accounting world. And that has come across. Robert Brown, we did one on Roth conversions and how passionate he is about Roth, you know, Roth conversions. The estate planning conversations that I've had with Michael Nolan and Steven Adler and uh, Brian Tully on, um, you know, Medicare planning, all of them, you can hear in their voice, what they do and their specialty and their experience and their helping of clients and the client experience they can, they can bring, bring abroad. And we've had lately, and we're going to probably continue this is having divorce 
guests. We had Miguel Rosenblum, one of my one of my earlier guests, and we had a uh, podcast about the gray divorce, which at the mm -hmm. time may still even be one of the the highest listened podcasts. And we recently had. Rosalia Labate talking about accounting and divorce and David Perry talking about the real estate market and, mm -hmm. and, and divorce. I don't even think David's is actually out yet. I think that's 74, which will be coming out, coming out soon. All the different guests have been, you know, have been, have been great, have been great. We didn't always start with, with the, with the guests. You weren't around the, the first, I guess the first episode two through six, we, we started really what the backbone is about financial planning and our complete mm -hmm. financial house. We've grown and expanded from, from there. Yeah. And, and here's the thing is that you have, you have tackled issues that I, I don't think a lot of people would tackle on, on podcasts. And I say that with all sincerity, because you, like you said, you brought up the, the different podcasts that really focused on different financial aspects and divorce. That's not an easy, easy subject. I know the guests that you've brought on have made it a little easier just because they do have passion for what they do. There's a huge community out there that needs to be served. And like you said, one of those is probably one of the highest listened to podcasts that you've got. But I love the fact that you don't shy away from the tougher subjects and bringing subjects that people actually need and want to tune in and listen to. There's too many financial podcasts out there that are just about, here's how you have a budget. Here's how you save for college. Here's how you blah, 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 right? Great. That is some things that need to be covered and that's foundational. And I know that you have covered a lot of that, but you've also brought in the heavy hitters. You've brought in people that truly have, have done a lot to educate your audience. And I have learned a ton. One thing that this pops in my mind, Larry, is when you had, and, and I think you alluded to it as far as who, remind me again, I'm sorry, who was your guest that spoke about where you live and residency when it comes to taxes? Karen Tannenbaum. My gosh, that one, I was absolutely blown away. I did not know how vicious states can be, right? trying to claim you as their own so they get your tax dollars. So if you live in Florida part of the year or Arizona part of the year, you have to prove how much time you spend there compared to how much time you maybe spend in California or New York or whatever, because certain states really want your tax dollars. And so they're going to fight for it and you have to be able to prove where you live. And I just thought, man, that's crazy. I never thought about that before. Yeah, I mean, obviously, also with the pandemic and people working in different places, there it's yeah. it's even uh, it's even more. We should probably replay maybe having Karen on again in twenty twenty one to talk about that to talk about that again. Yeah, having the guests and talk about the specifics on there is is great. I mean, starting with like you said, the foundation. I mean, the retire right is the name of the mm -hmm. podcast, and we've grown and expanded from there. So, and but so we do cover the the basics, but even just the basics and not really just the budget in there. The two questions I still get is, Eric, do I have enough money to retire? Yeah. And how much can I spend in retirement? Covering those topics, and we've done numerous podcasts about that, are still extremely well listened to because those, even when we meet with a new client, those are the questions that, that we hear. I'm 10 years away from retirement. I'm five years away from retirement. How do I, how do I know I have enough money that I'm going to be able to enjoy and live my life with confidence and the rest of their lives? Those are still the, the crux and the, and the big questions that we make sure that we continue to cover and provide, I don't want to say tips, but provide areas that you can determine how that, and if you're not there, how you can get there. So we'll continue to do that in all the retirement type podcasts that, uh, that we talk about going forward. All right. Well, you've given us a sneak peek and I want more. So what else are you going to be bringing in the future of your podcast career? We're going to revisit in 2021. So with some of our earlier podcasts, episode eight and nine, we had a social security series. We're going to revisit that in 2021. And we're going to actually do both a podcast series. And I'm also going to have 
a webinar series. Oh, nice. Maybe even some of my staff do the webinars and or be a guest on the podcast. We're still working out the details, but Social Security, when to take it, some of the tips on how to take that is still probably right behind what I said about do I have enough money to retirement, mm -hmm. knowing when to take the Social Security is still really high up there. And what people want to know and answers they want to know as they close in on Social Security. We're starting to get people thinking, oh, that's not going to be enough money in Social Security. And that may be the case. So we're, we're probably going to see some changes in the Social Security system going forward, I believe, in 2021. So we'll make sure we bring those topics and have guests that are relevant for that. So that's coming in, that's coming in, 20, in 2021. Another area that we we cover in a lot of the podcasts are in our investment strategies, especially our investment strategies in retirement, our, uh, our wealth our Hello Wealth Management bucket strategy is always really interesting, especially with all the volatility and how that's played out when we've had these big downturns in 2008 and earlier this year. So we are going to refocus again on that in 2021, continue to make an emphasis on how do you invest in, in retirement with low interest rates we had a podcast about that and low interest rates so the challenge is going forward so we're going to expand we're going to expand in that sometime in 2021 and i think we're also going to refocus a little bit more and expand on 401k platforms mm. and what you should be doing in your 401ks the importance of 401ks so we plan on having some more discussions on 401ks so those are some of the things that we're we're, we're thinking about adding and we are going to implement in, in in 2021 so i'm looking forward to the next 75 eric yeah, absolutely. And I know that you and I have spoken before that you're also working on lining up some other guests that are kind of fall into maybe the more lifestyle category, some things that are a little bit outside the box of financial planning, but really will show people's passions and, and ideas and maybe spark the imagination a little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, we've had some interesting lifestyle guests, kind of a life coach and Donna Martini. So uh -huh. uh, we're going to maybe bring Donna back again. She was in one of our earlier earlier podcasts. Yeah, I love interviewing with uh, Bob Glauber, who's a, the Newsday sports writer. Yeah, that was wrote, fantastic. And, and he wrote he wrote a wrote a book. I'm hearing rumblings he's going to be writing another book. All right. If he does, we'll have him back again to talk about talk about that. And I always pronounce the last name wrong. Loved Lover Day, and she she was a, a guest and talking about aging and the importance of aging and mm -hmm. you know how you handle about that. So we may bring her back again because those were some of the great guests. I love talking to uh, Bill Bresnan, who's the the head pro at Colonial Springs and and golfing in later ages and some of his stories about the, how he's worked with people in their seventies who would never even never even play golf so mm. we are going to try to find some more lifestyle guests that can be uh, be of interest possibly even maybe even toying with with the idea of doing a, a little bit of a panel format eric maybe nice. having more than one guest at the same time what do you think about that oh that'd be fantastic that would be so much fun like i said i may even do a um depending upon the pandemic and where you can travel, <laughs> but maybe even trying to do a, uh, a location podcast, Eric, we'll, we'll kind of, we'll kind of have to kind of think about that and, and how we're going to do that. Uh, maybe that maybe have to be towards the end of 2021 or into 2022. So we're going to, we're going to continue to bring you the educational content, the educational topics that are, that are timely for 2021. If there is any new tax laws with the new, the administration that's coming forward, we'll bring you podcasts on that while we continue to focus on retirement planning, divorce, 401ks, and uh, coordinate with our webinars that are going to be coming up in 2021. So uh, I'm excited about the next year. Yeah, me too. And I, I I'm sure that the temperature and weather and things in, in where you're at is very similar to where I'm at in February. So maybe for f one of February's podcasts, we can consider tax implications of podcasting from the Caribbean. 
I don't know if that's possible. Well, I'm actually, or not. yes. If everything goes well, <laughs> I'll be podcast. I'll be doing a podcast at least from Florida. Okay. Maybe, that's, maybe that's not. Close. But so, close. So, so Florida is going to be, that's on my to-do list, but we'll have to see how the pandemic has an impact on that. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll promise to social distance from you if you bring me. Just, you know, I'll, I'll stay 20 <laughs> feet away. Just, just saying. <laughs> Seagulls, you know, the noises from the beach will be fine on the podcast. <laughs> You know, we don't even have to edit those out. We'll just, you know, this is, hey, this is this is life in 2021, right? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the sounds of the waves, yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Larry. All right, well, Larry, I know that you you pointed out Podbean earlier, and, and there, you're on so many platforms. You're on Appful. You're on Spotify. You're, I'm, I'm sure you're on iHeartRadio at some point. You've got all these different platforms that you're on. How else can people connect to subscribe to the podcast and connect with you? Any of those platforms, if you just sub- subscribe to the Retire Right podcast by Larry Heller, just go right into the podcast. And then each time we have a new podcast, you'll be notified that that comes out. And you can also go to our website, Hello Wealth Management. Dot com. We have all the podcasts, all 75 are there, so you can feel free to go and listen to them. Uh, you can also, for those of you who want to have and see it visually, for most of the podcasts, we do have blogs there, and you can actually sort the blogs by topic. Not all the podcasts mm-hmm. are, have blogs there, so you can do that. And of course, anyone who's listening who wants to talk to us more, you can go to the website and schedule a free complimentary call with myself for one of the other other advisors. And, in, and finally, anyone who thinks or is happy with our podcasts, and we, we encourage you to share those with others that may be interested. Yeah, absolutely. Great content, great educational stuff, and, and great entertainment for everyone. So please share these. Uh, Larry, thank you so much for sharing your time with me and, and allowing me to take this journey with you. This has been fantastic. I truly, just like you, I look forward to 2021 and all it brings. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, everyone stay, uh, stay healthy out there and safe out there. And thank you again for listening to our podcast number 75. And we look forward to many more. Absolutely. And again, the last thank you goes to you, the listening audience from Larry and myself and the entire team. Thank you for tuning in and listening to the retire right podcast with Larry Heller. If you have not subscribed to the podcast yet, please click the subscribe now button below this way. When Larry comes out with a new podcast, it'll show up directly on your listening device. This makes it much easier to share these podcasts with your friends and family. Again, thanks for listening today. For everyone at Heller Wealth Management, this is Eric Johnson reminding you to live your best day every day, and we'll see you next time.